Welcome to the EPISD Digital Discoveries, exploring the world of education technology in the El Paso Independent School District. EdCamp is comfortable. It's motivating. Yeah, it's really cool. What does it mean in today's landscape to do good research? EdCamp is organic, participant-driven professional development. There are no keynotes, there's no set schedule, and the participants set the agenda. How many of you are teacher educators? The purpose of the workshops today are to put a bunch of really smart people together in a room and share ideas and talk. Really what we're trying to do at events like this are amplify each other's ideas and really leverage those to help improve what we do and that's teach kids. These are Drupal blogs, so it links to 8th grade work in 2009-2010. We're seeing a wide range of educators coming from all of these different schools within the city, counties surrounding Philadelphia, and it's leading to some really rich conversations around what's going on and where are we going in education. How can you play with this stuff in a way that kids are going to get something out of it? I love how much technology is integrated into it. We're on Twitter and you can just go and you can see what's going on not only in your own workshop, but what's going on in all the other workshops at the same time. You can see it in their faces. Everybody wants to raise their hand and talk because they have so many ideas to contribute. I think the thing to keep in mind first is this is a conversation. We don't mean this to be a lecture. I see a commitment from the educators here at this conference to engage and make this a really positive experience. I'm really here to learn from everybody. That's, that's why I came today. EdCamp is an effective professional development. I can take what I've learned today back to my school and use similar ideas in our own professional development. Our hope is that school districts across the nation will adopt the EdCamp model for professional development. EdCamp has provided opportunity for people to think and talk about their educational philosophy, attend something for nothing, and come away with great ideas. I think that's really important. Okay. Welcome to this segment of Digital Discoveries. Uh, if you haven't figured out by now, we're going to be talking about something called EdCamp. And probably you're wondering, what the heck is EdCamp? They were talking about Philadelphia there. We're not in Philadelphia. Well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to bring EdCamp to El Paso. And so uh, that's, uh, that's an exciting thing. It's an exciting uh, opportunity. I'm sure some of you are saying, well, what is EdCamp? I've never even heard of that before. This segment is for teachers. And so uh, it's actually for all teachers at all grade levels, K through 12. And so we're going to talk a little bit about what EdCamp is. It's an all-day unconference for all area teachers. You don't have to be an EPISD teacher. As a matter of fact, we want teachers from all school districts and even our private and nonprofit schools to come to our, our little EdCamp. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about what an EdCamp is and um, how, to, how to get there and how to sign up and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, First thing you want to do is, what is an EdCamp? Well, if you didn't figure it out from that little video, an EdCamp is a different kind of conference. Most teacher conferences, when you go to it, the conference schedule is set. You've got who the keynote speaker is going to be. And what teachers do is they open up the schedule and they say, I'm going to go to this meeting and this meeting and this meeting. And at the end of the day, you hope you remembered some of the stuff. EdCamp is completely different. It's called an unconference. And the reason it's called an unconference is because the schedule is not set. The schedule and the topics and everything that's going to go on that day is set at the conference itself. And so everybody that comes to the conference has something to share. And everybody that comes to the conference can be a presenter at the conference. The schedule is set for at the the first hour of the day, and then for the remainder of the day, we follow the schedule that the participants set. So it's completely different than a regular conference, and thus it's called an unconference. So let's talk about EdCamp in general. That's kind of like what EdCamp is at. And if you look at this little, uh, this little map here, uh, <laughs> there's actually an EdCamp website. This is something that's happening all over the United States, and actually now all over the world. It's, um, it's each one of those little dots there is an ed camp that's happened. So you can see that in the United States, we've had quite a few ed camps already. And so I'm going to come over there. And you can see the red ones are ones that have already happened. The blue ones are ones that are going to happen. So you can see here's our little El Paso ed camp right there. 
you can look look at there's not an ed camp <laughs> anywhere near El Paso so we're holding one for all the area teachers even if you're a teacher in southern New Mexico southern Arizona you're invited to our ed camp so how do you find out more information about ed camp we have an, a website that you can go to of course there's always a website for these types of things and our website is right there on the screen, edcampelpaso.wikispaces.com. And uh, you notice there it's got an interesting little BYOT event. What does that mean? It means bring your own technology. If you're a teacher, you got a laptop or an iPad or a smartphone, you need to bring that to this conference because we're going to teach you how to tweet out the information that's going on. We're going to show you how to share what you learn with everybody else. That's another, th that's another hallmark of uh, an unconference. Most conferences that people go to, they go to it and they kind of keep the information to themselves when they come back. They, they go, they learn a lot, and maybe they might share some information with a fellow teacher. But at an unconference, all the information is shared with everybody. So it's all posted up online after the conference is over. It's an all-day conference. Let's find out a little bit about it here in El Paso. We're going to go to the home page. And it's going to be, <laughs> you see these little blanks there. That's because the, our filter is blocking our YouTube videos. But it's going to be on Saturday, December 3rd um, at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, it's going to be at the Center for Career and Technology Education on Walnut Street. That's our CCTE for you people in EPISD. If you're not in EPISD, our Center for Career and Technology, it's located over by Amandara's Middle School by the old Southwestern General Hospital. Um, so how do you log on? How do you get there? We actually have a, we have a map of that uh, 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 Center for Career and Technology Education. So how do you get in? How do you register for, for EdCamp? What we're going to do is we're going to have registration on the Region 19 website. Region 19 is one of our partners for EdCamp. You're going to be able to log in and register with uh, Region 19. You'll get uh, CPE credits for attending. Uh, it's, an, it's a seven-hour training. It's going to be an all-day training. But one of the things that's really neat about EdCamp is that after it's all over, we're going to extend it. We're going to extend that networking and, and meeting with those teachers, your fellow teachers, uh, afterwards. We're all going to go to dinner afterwards. And so that's kind of a neat thing as well. So not only are we going to go to the, uh, the EdCamp, but after EdCamp, there's kind of a, a social experience that happens afterwards where you can network a little bit more with the teachers that you meet at EdCamp. Hopefully, the teachers that you meet at EdCamp are not the same teachers that you meet all the time. They're not the same teachers that are in your PLCs or your PLN. You're going to meet some new faces. You're going to see some friends. You're going to make some friends that you don't have before. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to keep going to the EdCamp website, the EdCamp El Paso website, which is at edcampelpaso.wikispaces.com. We're going to open up the registration in, uh, in uh, about the middle of October. So uh, uh, keep looking and uh, start thinking also about what you could do to share. What can you share at EdCamp? That's the power of EdCamp is that you as a participant are sharing your information as well. It's not just the nerds, it's not just the geeks, it's everybody sharing their information. So we look forward to seeing you at EdCamp. Again, it's edcampelpaso.wikispaces.com. You're invited, it's free, and it's open to the first 200 teachers that sign up. See you later. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the EPISD's Digital Discovery. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we look forward to seeing you next time.